Hey everyone, so I have another 90s nostalgia TV show to talk about, but this is also a show that was on yesterday as well. Somebody had requested this about a week ago and I thought, hmm, yeah, I think I'll do that one. And then it was on TV yesterday and I was like, that's a spooky coincidence. Um, of course I am talking about Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. Some people might have heard of this, some people won't. It originally aired on CITV and there was 97 episodes according to Wikipedia. And then 26 episodes made specifically for Nickelodeon. And I think it was on CITV last night, if I'm not mistaken, but it could have been Nickelodeon. But it was on telly anyway, at about four, half four. And it's an animated TV show that started in 2000. And basically in each episode, the kid, there is one kid that it focuses on, and that kid does something they shouldn't. They might not get washed, they might not eat up their vegetables, or they might scream and scream and scream until they get their own way. And then this monster or this creature or something will happen to this child which will snap them out of it or it will be a punishment. So if a child doesn't eat their vegetables, they may turn into a vegetable. The one I was watching yesterday, the, the child, this boy, had a baby brother or sister, I can't remember, it's irrelevant, but he had a baby sibling and he felt like he wasn't getting enough attention so he acted like a baby and then he eventually, he, was, he magically turned into a baby as his punishment for acting like a baby and his parents wouldn't listen to him because they thought he was just acting like a baby. Um, in another one, this girl was camping when she shouldn't have been and she turned into a, a caterpillar as her punishment for not doing as she was told. And essentially, it is, each episode is full of morals. It's like, don't do this or this will happen. It's kind of to scare children into behaving. And I guess scaring them into doing something isn't the best tactic. My sister, she was, she's five, she's nearly six, she was, she was like, the telly was over there and she was just like, completely gobsmacked. Um, I think it was a bit scary for her age, I'd say about seven or eight years and up. Um, yeah, but it is really good, it might scare them into doing something, but hey, if kids start to do something that they should do, and it's because they're scared, who cares? I know I shouldn't have that attitude, I know it's not fair to scare children into doing something, but sometimes that really is the only solution. But it is such a great show. I like it now. It's very, each episode is about five minutes long, so it's not on forever and ever and ever. And each, and like, each full episode has, like, two or three stories in it, so the whole thing's, like, 15, 20 minutes. And it is, it's just really fun, and it's kind of creepy, because you know it's an animation, but it's just, it, it's really dark and really quite scary, and even I get a sort of bit like, should that be on TV at this time? It is really good. But go and watch it if you haven't. There are loads of clips on YouTube, because I was having a look earlier on, because my mother was like, I don't remember that. And I'm like, well, you should remember that because it was fantastic. So I've shown my mother some clips on YouTube and there is loads of them, some really good ones. Yeah, go and check it out if you haven't seen it or even if you have seen it, go and check it out because it'll be a really great trip down memory lane. I really do still love this show. I think it would be a massive hit now if it was just starting as well. And you know, like there are some shows which started years ago and are still on now because of nostalgia reasons. But if the show were to pilot now, it might not do so well. I think Grizzly Tales would still do really well if it even began now. It might need a bit of a tweak because kids nowadays are becoming less scared of things. But yeah, it is really, really great. And as I said, my little sister was sort of like gobsmacked. Yeah. But please feel free to leave comments and things. I'd love to know your thoughts on this show. Um, and also if you have any requests for any more 90s shows or anything at all, please let me know. But that is it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.